Are Americans welcome in Canada? Yes. Yes. But, and I'm going to explain this. So first of all, yes, all Americans are welcome here in Canada. That includes not just the United States, that includes of course Central America, the Caribbeans and South America. Everyone here is welcome. Something that many people forget and actually don't know if they are outside of Canada is that Canada and Canadian people have strong family ties, bonds to America. That is because, well, Americans are sometimes moving here to Canada, they are marrying into Canadian families and then with this they are building bonds in between both nations. So someone marries here, so of course they have suddenly stepmothers, stepfathers and so on, family members in the United States. And there we go, a bond is built. And there are many cultural bridges like this and family bridges like this here in between Canada and America. And this is how people really know more about each other and the culture and sports and everything. Very importantly, I would say, is the cultural connections. And the cultural connections is like a wide range. What I'm going to talk about is sports and movies. Because it's a big part in both of our nations. I mean, it's a huge, huge part. First of all, most sports that are being played in the United States and are popular in the United States are popular here as well. So the only exemption to this with the sports is just ice hockey, which is just insanely huge in Canada and not that huge in America. But in America, you have them as well, right? And those sports are like a huge part of the, of the daily lives of North Americans. Like something I had to learn here. Many people talk all the time about sports because it's, it's a, such a huge hobby and a part of their life. So it connects people very easily. The other important part is Hollywood movies, especially Hollywood movies. I mean, here in Canada, the biggest movies are, of course, Hollywood movies. And many TV shows that which are not being shown in Europe or other parts in the world are shown here in Canada. Because some of the TV shows are maybe not that, they're not blockbusters. They're not huge capital TV shows. But because of the cultural similarity between Canada and America, the movie makers are like, hey, it's probably gonna work here in Canada. And it does, because it is really similar, so many people are watching those shows. And here in Canada, we have access to shows that are not available in Europe. And for Americans, it's just like so given when they're coming here and seeing all their TV shows, all their movies. But guess what? If you move to Europe or to other places, like in Asia, you will see maybe your Marvel movies, but many TV shows, unless you have Netflix and such, you will not see them. And even if you have Netflix and such, then Netflix, here comes Netflix, in different areas of the world have many different things. Of course, right? In Germany, you would see more German movies and such. But like I said, specific movies and cultural parts that are not that popular in, in Europe and uh, Asia because we don't get the references like for example for movies with baseball and such they are really popular here and like huge but such movies are not that huge there so you won't be able to access them easily there but see as I'm talking about all the similarities of the culture right away especially like you and Americans Canadians are getting what I'm saying that really it is so close and that there is so much connections friendship and history between us and I mean history this as well that we understand like each other Canadians and Americans so easily all right now let's talk about the but part because there is some certain things that people are nervous that they cannot go to Canada especially as US citizens so there's a huge bunch so I will just mention one important thing this is like politics in the last years politics has been so huge like insanely huge in the entire world or like especially like in the western world it's insane and here comes the thing there are many strong opinions about certain politicians and here in canada we are not spared of it because as i explained we have so many cultural things and closeness many people in canada even if they are not related to any u.s citizens but especially if they are are very interested into american politics so they spend time watching all those what's, what's going on in America and of course about the politicians and many of them have a favorite politician or favorite or politician they support or not support at all 
and that caused conflict, right? I mean, we saw it in America and here in Canada this as well. It's a bit weird for me as a foreigner seeing how people are overexcited between and building factions around politicians that are living outside of their own country. It's a bit weird for me, but I see it happening in Germany, in Europe as well. And here's really the thing, the core issue. Some people support former President uh, Trump and some prefer and support President Biden. And then there are the ones that prefer, that prefer and support the Democrats and the, and the Republicans here in Canada as well. I mean, I'm talking about Canadian people or mixed Canadian US people. And people here, sometimes some of them have strong opinions about it. And I'm going to not to talk too deeply into it and being very careful. Those opinions can divide the people and they do. They divide the people sometimes here. So there are a very few, and it is really just a very few, a small minority of people who are saying, hey, I don't want a Trump supporter here. I don't want a Biden supporter here. I don't want Democrats, whatever here. Just so you know, it's like a teeny tiny majority because most Canadians, even if they are supporting one American president over the other, they are not saying you cannot come here to Canada. No, you are still free to come here and you are absolutely welcome here. So don't get let politics go in between you and your goals and you and your family and friends, right? So this was just meant as a teeny tiny little introduction and just an overview so you get the idea. The idea is really that any Americans and US citizens are really welcome here in Canada. Don't let some minor disputes get in between your happiness. Don't listen too much to naysayers and negative people. And if it is your wish to come to Canada, go ahead and do so. You will not find people here or very, very extremely few that have any problem with you because most Canadians are really wonderful and great people. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Consider liking it and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.